Yeah, there, there, there it is. Uh, the six horse. Money is at four is that, to is that, one. Is that four to one. Yeah. Three to five for the favorite, Talita. And Mojito is at six to five, wow. the eleven horse. The so Mojito is a, is a second favorite at six to five. Um, and uh, barring those, uh, not very much uh, betting on the others. The 13 horse Huntsman is currently showing at 13 to one. But Talita is a three to five favorite at the moment. And Mojito is at six to five as a second favorite. And Money Miser, uh, the six horse, is at four to one. So there is huge support for Mojito, currently at six to five as a second favorite. And that, Robert, I think is due to the sort of CV and the impression that Mojito has had on racing fans prior to the St. Leisure. Yes, um, I will say that the public definitely have, would have heard and seen that Azan has done everything in his power to get this horse to be as sound as possible, hoping that he will use his class to win. Because if he's sound and has enough work underneath him in his wind, then he's saying, well, my horse is good enough to beat these, even without a strong exercise gallop because of his class. Um, but Lance number seven ability, I see the, the public ignoring this one a bit at 17 to one. Um, I remember this horse moving from 114.2 to 112.4 um, and going straight into the Kingston one week after to finish fourth by 19 length this and is? then third by 15 ability. Yeah. Right? Third by 15 lengths. Has been nice and fresh, nicely freshened by Wacky Lynch, yes. trainer Patrick Lynch. And we know he also knows a thing or two about winning classic races. And if there's an upset, it, it will definitely come from ability for sure. Yeah, but, well, Lynch has already won two derbies, including Drone Strike at 24 to 1 back yes, in, in, in 2018. So that, that is one to consider. And you just uh, mentioned um, ability. Well, he'll be ridden by Alan Bunga John Mirage, who is 61 years old, uh, Mirage. But he also has a derby win uh, to, his, to his name. A very, very long time ago, uh, his derby success, Alan Mirage, who has come out of retirement, Bongajan Mirage, because he did retire um, after racing in Florida at Gulfstream Park for, for quite some time. Uh, but he had retired, but has resuscitated his career, yeah. and he's now back. He was in training Smart horses riding. as well over there. Yes, and, uh, yeah, take note his trainer's license. It's yes. a very hard place to train horses and become successful because of the billionaires that come down from New York mm -hmm. in the summer. Yeah. So it is definitely seemingly want to retire here in Jamaica. Nothing absolutely wrong with that, Lance. Yeah. As we said, 61 years old, Alan Bongajan Mirage, who rides the seven horse ability, and he was a winner of the 2005 Derby Award Miracle Man. Miracle Man. Um, so um, the horses, um, the gates haven't been closed yet, which means that there we are still a little way from the horses being being loaded. But the, the latest odds still showing as the four to five favorite now, uh, Talita. Well, even money now on Mojito, huh. and it's four to one on Money Miser. So really close going here between Talita and uh, Mojito for the favorite slot. And um, it's a contrast between these two horses because one is on the peak of form, that's Talita coming out of the St. Leisure, and the other, Mojito, has run into problems and uh, ran badly in the St. Leisure and on current form is hard to recommend for this race. Given the fact that this horse hasn't been trained properly for the Derby, um, the Derby is a grueling event. This, the only 12 furlong event on the Jamaica racing calendar, calendar is the Jamaica Derby, which means that horses as three-year-olds running the Derby will only run 12 furlongs once mm -hmm. in, their, in their careers. And the fact is, you need to prepare diligently for the event. So I'm siding with you, Robert, and I agree with you that if Mojito wins this race today, it will be a hugely um, genius-like training feat for uh, Richard Azan, who has not been able to prepare this horse the way he would have if the horse was, found, was sound and medically um, in good condition to race in the derby. We remind you that this horse has not exercised galloped really. He's only gone out on the track with a pony steering him around the track, um, a ponied rider steering yeah. him around the track. He himself doesn't have a rider exercising. So in a grueling derby race that takes 
real precise and um, meticulous preparation the fact that mojito has not been able to prepare properly for the derby by itself that fact by itself would steer you away from him but as i said at the moment he's showing as a six to five second favorite which tells you that there are still racing fans at Caymanus Park who believe in the quality of this horse. Uh, because remember, he went into the St. Leisure as a huge favorite, as an unbeatable three-year-old. And many people were already talking about the Triple Crown, including me. And me, <laughs> as well. He looked like he we would have had the first grey horse being a Triple Crown winner. Yeah. First, yes, but it, it wasn't to be. But obviously, somebody knows something about this horse today, and let's see if the public gets gets it right. Yeah, well, we're 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 gonna um, tell you to now. focus on on the eleven box because that's where that's where Mojito will race out of, and based on what we saw in the set leisure and even the Guineas when he had a little bit of problem early, I think Mojito getting a good break out of the start out of the starting gates in the yeah. eleven box will be critical to this horse's and I'm glad, chances. Gl I'm glad you brought up that point because the last time we spoke, we had said that if the jockey didn't get a good break from the one draw and try and position himself properly, meaning get a good break, go out with his class and then position from in front, key speed to go around. He didn't do that, found himself in trouble and broke down in the race by getting a lot of hits and all of that. This time he's on the outside and as we said, we also spoke that we didn't like how he looked um, coming on the track the last time around, he just didn't look himself. Today, he, so two po positives for you, Mojito fans. He looks very well today, <laughs> right? The trainer takes him off lane six to assist that overheating problem. Three, and the other one, in, he's in the eleven he's box. On the outside. He's in the eleven box, which means that so he's on the outside. And you have five negatives, but you have three positives. <laughs> so. right, Robert, you sound as if you're you're, you're softening your position. Well, he, um, he looks against extremely Mojito. well today. Honestly, yeah. he does look Lo well looking today. looking fabulous. So Mojito has not yet loaded in the eleven box. The nine horse Talita, who is the favourite, hasn't loaded either. And uh, the latest odds just a moment before the race goes off. Talita still holding on to the favorite slot at four to five. The nine horse, number 11, Mojito is at six to five. He's now in. Mojito is now in. Yeah, there he goes into the 11 box. Mm -hmm. And he has Dane Dawkins riding, reigning champion jockey. The six horse is at four to one. That's Money Miser. And, uh, and Talita, as usual, giving a bit of trouble at the gate. Yeah, Talita has She reminds me of she's a manita used to have give a little bit of trouble. This filly giving some trouble. She don't want to be using up all that energy now, Lance, yeah. going 12 furlongs. Yes, that's for sure. Let's hope she loads quickly. Right, so so outside of the top three in the betting, um, Money Miser at four to one. Here she Talita, comes. the four to five favorite, now goes in. And Good the night. six to five second favorite, Mojito. Wow, um, giving up it to is ready Lance. for the race call. Let's the get that now. running of it, and they're up for the derby. Secret Admiral breaks in behind horses. California Gold over on the far side. Salita comes right through now, going for that lead. Mojito is right there too. Strike Smart looking for room in between them as they leave the quarter pole for the first time and come away toward us in the stands. Mojito the gray on the outside, possibly just the leader. The leader is close up with Strike Smart, California Gold down against the rail. Money Miser staying close all the time. Strike Smart fading out just a bit, caught by Huntsman as they passed us for the first time and Mojito has been sent straight to that lead. Money Miser in pursuit with the leader. California Gold is down against the rail. Huntsman racing on their outside, then Strike Smart and Ability. Kai and the go on the outside of Super Alex. Down against the rail, that's a Secret Admiral. Life is life on the outside, steam toward the back and on charter at the back of the field as they arrive over toward the far side and the seven. It is Mojito attempting to go all the way, striding out by some three lengths. Being chased by Money Miser and Thalita in third. Huntsman is racing next as they make the way toward the final six in the derby. Behind Huntsman, a gap opens up to Ability and California Gold fading. Strike Smart and the rest have mountains to climb as they leave the six. Super Alex and a Secret Admiral stablemates race up together. Steen in behind them with Life is Life. Further back to Kai on the go. And on Charter has not improved as the strung out field leave the five. And Mojito continues to lead. Huntsman is left three lengths down. Thalita now asked to go after the leader. There too, that is Money Miser as they're arriving at the half mile marker a huge gap opens up to ability strike smart is next 
with Super Alex on the outside of Secret Admiral. Life is life in the red silks, races ahead of Steen. Then we have California Gold on charter, and Kai on the go has faded badly as the leaders now leave the three. It is Mojito stealing away ability. The surprise of the party now comes on the scene on the outside as they leave the 516th, and ability has now taken charge at the top of the lane in the derby. The gray Mojito will have to dig deep. Here is a money miser now left loose but it is Ability, the rider changing his hold. Ability out in front, Money Miser drifting to the right. Mojito is back in third. It is Ability with a furlong to run. This is the 103rd running of the Jamaica Derby and Ability holds a three-length lead over Money Miser inside the final 16th. It is Ability and Alan Bonga, John Mirage. They're going to win the Derby and create an upset. Ability wins it over Money Miser. Secret Admiral running on his third. Mojito can and only manage fourth and Thalita fifth. Wow, what an upset! The 61 year old Alan Bungaton Mirage wins the Jamaica Derby. No rider at that age has ever won a Jamaica Derby. And what a run by ability. Patrick Lynch, the trainer, gets his third Derby success. He has won with the Bomber in 2017 and in 2007, I should say, and also drone strike at 24 to 1 in 2018. So for the second time in Patrick Lynn's training career, because he was a jockey himself during his, his, his younger years, he has scored an upset win in the Jamaica Derby and ability with a searing move coming off the final bend, colors the front running Mojito and wins the Derby very, very impressively under the 61 year old Alan Mirage. You, Robert Derby, moments before the race, spoke about ability as a potential upsetter. I said he was a danger to all and sundry, and that he was. And I said, if there's going to be an upset, look no further than ability. <laughs> You know, because when I look on how Patrick Lynch um, trained this horse, this is the only horse that was, was programmed for the journey. Nine furlongs in 206 by seven furlongs in 138 and 4. That is how he always programs his horses. Look at the smile on Alan Mirage's face. What a train. We are talking about training feet. This is also a training feat for Patrick. Watkins. But it must be. To turn around. I'm being beaten by Mojito by some 15 and 19 lengths to win the derby by, by about five lengths. 17 to Dramatic one. Dramatic turnaround. The odds on ability. Owned by Patrick Lynch, trained by Patrick Lynch. We saw him talking in the preview uh, that we had prior to the race. And he, was spoke, uh, he spoke also about Mojito's chances and how much he respected Mojito. But uh, Alan Mirage... 61 years old comes up with a stunning victory here in the Jamaica Derby at odds of 17 to 1 and ability scores a stunning victory in the Jamaica Derby a bold race by Mojito I would think Robert based on Mojito's impressive run for 10 furlongs in this race if that horse didn't have problems and was able to train properly for the Derby it's obvious that Mojito would have won definitely he, 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 he ran his heart out despite not being able to be, be prepared properly up for obvious reasons. Yeah, because he did look comfortable leaving the backstretch. He looked comfortable. Jockey Dane Dawkins wasn't yes. doing much, and he looked as if he had, had some, some gas in the tank. But when this horse ability came upside him, uh, coming off the final bend, he just uh, blew past. Yeah, Mojito couldn't respond. Money Miser, though, ran extremely well. Lance was running on back and passed, actually passed Mojito in deep stretch and looked at danger at one point to ability. But Bongo John and Patrick Lynch would have none of it. Ability started to sprint right away once again. Yeah, so Alan Mirage, he won the derby back in 2005 aboard Miracle Man. And uh, this horse, Ability, gives him a second derby tramp and uh, a third derby tramp as well for trainer Patrick Lynch, who, as we said, won with the Bomber in 2007 and also scored with Drone Strike in 2018. So a second upset win for Patrick Lynch in a derby. The Drone Strike win was at odds of 24 to 1, and this victory today aboard with Ability is at 17 to 1. We go to a break very quickly. When we come back, we get the post-race interviews with uh, jockey Alan Mirage and uh, trainer Patrick Lynch back in a moment. 